Yo guys, what's going on? Rob with 421 Media. I was coming at you again with another deck review. This week I've got the Pio Dio, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, cards by uh, Dan and Dave in Art of Play. Um, these are, uh, this, this is a deck in honor of Cardinai, um, famous magician from France. Um, this is a pretty simple tuck case, and the interesting thing about this tuck case is that it doesn't resemble the cards at all. Um, it's got this gold... Uh, ink inking on the box um the name of the deck here in the playing cards and stuff like that that's actually embossed into the deck uh and then it's got some leaves here nothing really on the sides a little bit of that gold overlapping uh it just says cards on the top here uh we got the art of play postage stamp style seal uh we got this little unicorn thing here made in the usa a little bit of art of play copy print on the bottom and like i said very very simple tuck case not a whole lot to it but a very nice very elegant tuck case for this deck of cards uh i'm gonna leave this in, ca in case you guys want to read it hopefully the video pauses and you can read that okay i'm not gonna read it for you like i said if you want to pause and read it it's just a little history about the deck that it plays an honor to uh and then you get a blank card we get the two identical jokers that cardinet on them and then if we flip this deck over before we get into the front side we get this super dope back design now one thing that's really interesting about this back design is it is a one-way back design obviously um and it just makes for some really gnarly fan patterns almost no matter which way this goes i personally really really dig this one and i've seen this in quite a few pictures before that to me is super baller um flipping the deck back over though um, to the front side, uh, we get the leading ace of spades on the front. These are very simple cards. One thing that I do like is the pips and indices on these are very, very unique. Um, but there's not a whole lot to this deck of cards. Um, if we run through here, pretty standard other than, like I said, those pips and indices. Pretty normal looking deck. Uh, we got a little bit of gold ink on the face cards here. Um, but other than that, pretty standard face cards. Um... Nothing too crazy with the reds. It's a bit of a darker red than you normally see, but nothing too, too crazy. Um, Suicide King there. Pretty standard faces. Nothing too, too crazy about the, the face design of these cards. This is definitely more of a magic-oriented deck, as you can tell, kind of by the simplicity in the faces here. Um, there's not a whole heck of a lot to it. This deck, I actually don't know what these retail for. I know they're quite expensive. This is a fairly rare deck of cards on... Um, eBay and stuff like that so I don't know quite what these are valued at I got mine as part of the Dan and Dave uh, value box um, so this is one of the 12 decks that I got for $140 um, as far as the card stock of this deck goes these are a Art of Play stock uh, which we've seen before it's the same stock that the Verts deck uses a lot of the Art of Play decks use the uh, Lucky Draw is another great deck that uses that same card stock I personally really dig that card stock these are kind of everything you want from a deck of cards. These are traditionally cut. They are performance coded. Um, and they are Illinois finish on these. They handle quite well, like I said. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's it for these bad boys. Um, not a whole, whole lot to say about them. Let me know what you guys think about these. Let me know if there's any decks of cards that you guys want me to see. I'm trying right now to get my hands on a deck of the Red Cherry Casinos as soon as I can so I can throw that video up for you guys. Hopefully it's pretty quick here. And um, make sure if you guys are new here, you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are into dropping things like I drop cards, be sure to drop a like on the video. And we'll see you guys next week.